Hi, this is Hal Cohen and welcome to another Fireplace Chat. Uh, today I'd like to talk a little bit about the gig economy. Uh, a lot of people have never heard that term and uh, so let me explain it to you. The word gig used, used to just apply to musicians. If you were a musician and you were in a band and your band got a job, that was called a gig. So, or if you were just you and your guitar and you got a job in a little coffee house or playing for somebody's party, that was a gig. And if you did get paid, that made you a professional musician and, and all of your friends, of course, were very jealous because you were on your way to becoming a rock star. Uh, I myself went out to California when I was younger and uh, I was going to be a rock star, but hey, there's still time. But anyway, uh, the, the word gig nowadays has come to mean pretty much anything you do. Uh, Here's the thing, when, when we were younger, growing up, our parents told us either go to college and get a good job or be a bum. Uh, and you couldn't get a good job unless you had a college education. Nobody addressed the fact that if you were a musician or an artist, you could still make a good living if you uh, knew how to follow that path. But most of our parents or counselors did not know how to advise us to go that route unless you went to Northeast High School. That's why I went to Lincoln. Anyway, <laughs> that's another story. So as a result, I grew up uh, mostly playing music and supplemented my income tending bar. I was a bartender for 28 years. Prior to that, I was a waiter and a busboy. And as a matter of fact, for six years, I was a singing waiter. So I actually had to sing to my customers. We brought our guitars to work. It was actually a crazy good job. I had the most fun I ever had in my life. Uh, so, anyway, so what I'm trying to get at is the gig economy nowadays is pretty much a, a, a series of jobs or gigs and you string them together and you make a living that way. Um, which poses the question, since when did the phrase jack of all trades become a dirty word? Um, the whole phrase is jack of all trades, master of none. However, I have cut out that second half because... I think I've mastered a few. I taught myself HTML, I taught myself photo rendering, uh, video editing and, and videography. Um, I did some digital photography and printing. Uh, all in, started my own business out in California. Uh, so when I came back to Philadelphia, I, I pretty much started over. Nowadays, uh, post-cancer, I'm driving for Uber because um, Although I still play music, I try to cut down the amount of gigs I do there because the equipment's very heavy to lug around. So I had to find other, other ways. And now people ask me, uh, you know, how do you become an Uber driver or a Lyft driver? How do you do this? How do you do that? And I'm thinking, you know, I know a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff. So that's the reason for my fireside chats. I'm going to start sharing a little of what I know. Uh, I just recently got into uh, drones because I want to get a commercial license and get into aerial photography. Um, so I'll be talking a little bit about that. Uh, right now, I'm going to just address Uber and Lyft. If you need a little extra income, I, I would highly recommend it. I mean, you're not, you're not going to get rich. It's not a you know, it's not big bucks, but it, it's a lot of fun. If you have a newer car uh, or you need a car and you want to finance a car, you could drive to just pay, make your car payments. That's a good way to do that and help people get around. If you want to drive for Uber or Lyft, uh, go to their website, uber.com or lyft.com and sign up to become a driver. Uh, just apply. Use my code. If you use my codes, then you'll get a little uh, bonus every time you drive. I'll get a little bonus every time you drive. So it works out, which uh, that's another thing. Affiliate uh, marketing uh, where, where you recommend products or, or services and you give your code and make a little extra commission. That's another uh, way of uh, uh, feeding into the gig economy and, and benefit, benefiting from it. So there you have it. Use my Uber and Lyft codes, and um, I'll talk to you more about that a little later uh, next time.